class. It's Miss Roberts here. I realized in the first video it did not provide the screenshots, but it did provide information. So I'm going to provide both. So consider that first video more like a lecture video. I'm going to briefly go over what the assignment looks like and where to find the information. Let's begin. All right. So here I'm in my teacher view. But as you see under the projects tab, you'll see the group project explanation one. So that is the first video that provides all the details. You're going to, I'm going to look crazy because I'm going to be <laughs> moving my hands because I'm seeing the screen, but now we're seeing everything together. So I'm going to briefly go over each part again, but I want you to see everything. Okay. Notice we have the sev we have several assignments. Well, we have the group list first, so that's where you'll find the which group you're in, and also go to the people tab right here. So that's why I was referring to the first video, so you can find your group canvas page. On that group canvas page, I'm able to see any announcements or discussions, but you're free to move that over to other platforms of your choosing. We have the group contract assignment, mini outline, the paper, video presentation guidelines, which just gives you tips such as look at the camera, make sure your room is well lit, make sure you have your audio. So it's pretty much the extension of the group, excuse me, of the video presentation guidelines of the previous project. And we have the project video in addition to the meeting agenda and meeting minutes. So everything that you need for this project is within this tab. This is what the group contract assignment looks like. So you have a list of your team members and your 10 guidelines for your group membership. So remember, the guidelines are for you to establish rules for your project in your group, and then we all agree to them. Remember, each project is designed for one submission, and that one submission is going to be applied to the entire group. If there's someone who's disappeared or has not been participating, it's super easy for me on the back end to just remove you from the group, then everybody else will be graded. So this is what that looks like, your team name and your 10 rules. And you're just saying that, hey, you have abide by those rules. Now, this is what the group paper outline looks like. We have a link to the paper and the list of topics that we have. Now, the list of topics that we have, that I have on there, is an exhaustive list. So, if you find a topic that you want to pursue that's not on that list, not a problem. Just let me know, and I can say yay or nay. But you have the topic, your draft thesis statement, which pretty much outlines or tells me what the main idea of your paper is. And you have the type of sentences of your subtopics. The paper is going to be written like a traditional college essay where you have an intro, body sections, and conclusion. You can have up, you have to have at least three, but up to six body sections. Your group can decide to divide each role into different subtopics. Or what I mean by subtopics is you have this one big overarching topic and then you're breaking it up into pieces and details. So you can divide it however, you, whichever way you like. However, each person must contribute equally to the group and the contents of the paper and video. Next, we have the business project paper. In the previous video, I explained that the paper and the video complement each other. You're first going to work on the project paper because that will provide content for your video. The content of the paper should be four to six pages. That does not include the paper title or the reference page in APA format. You can use at least four reputable sources, so you can divide that amongst yourselves. And of course, you can use more, but you have to at least use four 
in order to get full credit. Also make sure that you use in-text citations and cite the sources verbally in your video. So here are the three to six body sections of your paper that we're talking about. And here is the list. It's not limited to, but here are some of the things that we talked about. We talked about leadership, diversity in the workplace, organizational culture. You can talk about trends in hiring and resource and research, excuse me, trends in hiring and human resources. That's what I meant to say. Organizational power, effective verbal and nonverbal communication at work, the multi-generational workplace, interviewing or video interviewing. Those are just many topics that we've covered and reviewed in this class. So if you have something else you want to talk about, something else you want to do, you can go ahead and go to the group project mini outline and just let me know. And that can say yay or no. Finally, we have the video. So there's two videos. I'm just showing you where everything is and what it looks like. We have the group list and video presentation guidelines. And pretty much the topics that are copied and pasted from the previous page. Here's the video that I was referring to. So here's a way for you to submit the video. One of the things you can do, which is super easy, especially in an asynchronous class, is that you can upload and create YouTube videos and collaborate on the playlist Put it in the order that you want me to see it. For example, your intro video, the body sections of your video, and your concluding video to round it out. Okay. So you can pretty much upload those videos, go ahead and put in order you want me to see them. And I'm going to see them as a session, just like you would any other YouTube playlist. You can also go on Zoom and do your video together. And e each person will present their part, but you record the Zoom video and send it to me. Or we can do this synchronously where I'm witnessing the Zoom video, I'm able to grade synchronously. That's also an option. For those who know how to video edit, you can also put a video together of everybody doing their part. I don't require anyone to edit videos because I don't know how to do anything like that. So because I can't teach you, I'm not going to require you to do something like that. But if you want to create one big video, with everybody's parts on it, you're free to do that as well. So there are several ways to turn in the assignment. Okay. Also, before I head out, I want to show you the meeting agenda and meeting minutes. I talked about it in the previous video, but this is what it looks like. You have all the headings, meeting time, purpose, who attended, who was absent, unfinished business, so what are some of the things you need to talk about, and new business, new goals, and things you need to talk about. So this is what that looks like, just plug and play. Go ahead, and you only need one meeting agenda and one meeting minute, and that is available on Canvas for you. So I'll go back. And we also have the meeting minutes. Let me go ahead and go on preview. And this will be conducted after the meeting. So you have the meeting time, but that can also differ than when the meeting came to order. Who prepared the meeting minutes, who attended, who was absent. And here, what were some of the summary groups and decisions that were made in that meeting? All this information can be found in the, I'll repeat it in the second one too, but this week we're going to talk about collaborating in teams and enhancing team meetings. We have the slides, the assignments, and we have all the parts of the project. This video will be right directly under this one. I played it and I explained things very well, but we couldn't see anything. So I wanted to create a quick video with the visuals. So it'll be part two with the visuals. Okay. 
So both videos explain the project equally, but of course, like I said in the first video, let me know if you have any questions. Please enjoy your evening, and I can't wait. Hold on, let me go ahead and boom this up. Please enjoy your evening, and I can't wait to see all of your projects. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.